Okay, uh, it was a cold day out today. Uh, also very windy. So, uh, talking about like 40 degrees. So, uh, the uh, HM1 here ran about 45 minutes here. Uh, required three major adjustments. And then I switched it to the super soft spring I made. So, I think it'll run on the super soft spring uh, for a while when it's warmer out. Um, also, I've noticed, I think I've got some seepage around the um, head here. So I wonder if my head gasket is not sealing properly. So we'll take a look at that because those uh, this has got that flat seal with the uh, head O-ring that's getting pressed that way onto the head. And those are always a bit sketchy. So uh, I might look at that, but very happy with the latest round on the HM1. This oiler modification did slow it down. It still runs real fast, but I think that's just going to be an issue with the tiny oiler, uh, but it did slow it down a bit, so I like that. I'm gonna probably leave that the way it is. Um, I'm disappointed. Uh, I was gonna start the Engimore to run these side by side and compare them, but the Engimore did not want to start today because uh, it was too chilly and I couldn't get a good grip on the Engimore flywheel to give it the spin. Uh, I actually chipped several fingernails because I haven't trimmed them down to nothing uh, so they were there to get chipped on the sharp uh, Engimore so that's that and uh, we'll keep tuning up the HM1 uh, but this magnet on the box here the magnets worked real nice so Uh, the lid for the box doesn't flop around anymore, which is what I wanted. Um, and the HM1 keeps being my favorite. So, I look forward to the next time I can get out and uh, run it, hopefully, where it's a bit warmer.